open it up or do I just stop? What is it? Sorry, just a second. All right. Okay. Should I do it for real? Ideas. I often debate evolutionists because I believe that they narrow-mindedly and dogmatically accept evolution without questioning it. I really don't care how God did what he did. I know he did it. I can sum it up in three words. Evolution is a lie. You know, there's a lot of things in life I've concluded to be wrong without studying them in depth. Evolution is one of them. You know, the fact that I don't know a thing about it doesn't bother me in the least. Everyone knows that scientists insist on using complex terminology to make it harder for true Christians to refute their claims. Take deoxyribonucleic acid, for example. Sounds impressive, right? Have you ever seen what happens when you put something in acid? It dissolves. If our bodies were full of that acid, we'd all dissolve. So much for the theory of evolution. How can anyone believe that humans evolved from monkeys? Here's a few questions for some of you who may believe that. If we did, in fact, evolve from monkeys, how come babies aren't born monkeys? So you think that if no one believed in any religion, there'd be no wars or fighting? I think it'd be worse. I think it'd be way worse. I know if I didn't have God's judgment to fear, I would have killed many, many times. Even Darwin believed his theories were wrong before he died, so why do we still believe them? It's not known whether uh, God created oil 6,000 years ago when he created the earth, or whether the coal deposits were developed during Noah's flood 4,000 years ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is that if you don't believe God created the earth 6,000 years ago, you're going to hell. Several million years for a monkey to turn into a man? Oh wait, that's right. Monkeys don't live several million years. I'm sorry. Scientists have just shown that mice DNA is more similar to humans than human DNA. So would evolutionists then argue that humans evolved from mice? Probably. The thing is, people can't think for themselves, and they get so confused about reality. That's why people are willing to believe anything a scientist will tell them. Let's, let me see if I can paint you a little picture. You know, if atheists ruled the world. So, uh... Atheist son comes home to his mom. Hi, mom. Hey, son. And then the son would probably say something like, Hey, mom, I'm going to go fuck a hooker. No problem, son. Don't be home late. Oh, I might be, because then I'm going to go smoke pot with my friends, since it's not addictive. Oh, fine with me, son. And then the, the atheist dad would come home. Hi, honey. Hey. Uh, how's your day? Oh, I'm pregnant again. Looks like I'm gonna have to get another abortion since fetuses aren't actual human life. Oh, no problem, honey. Get as many abortions as you like. Okay, I will. Oh, and don't go in the bedroom because there's two gay men fucking in there. Why are there gay men, honey? Because I wanted to watch I wanted to watch the gay men. And then he, would, uh, he wouldn't care. He'd say, okay, that's fine with me. And then probably the atheist neighbor would run in. Quick, there's a Christian outside. Oh, we were coming. And then they'd, they'd grab their black robes and their hoods, and they'd run into the street where a Christian would probably be nailed to a big wooden X, being burned at the stake, surrounded by atheists in their hoods and robes. Die, Christian! Die! We claim to be tolerant of all religions, except you. We hate you, because we're atheists, and we're hypocritical like that, because we're atheists. 